Hello guys, my name is Maria Toka. Today I'm going to show you how to create this large grain photocopy effect in Adobe Photoshop. So the first thing we do is we're creating a new document. You can see the settings on my screen and just copy them. It's a standard A4 format. We click create. Then we're going to insert any image into this file. So the first thing we do is we go into filter and filter gallery. First filter we apply is graphic pen. The numbers I'm gonna set are 1 and 78 but you can actually experiment with this one because it depends on your image. For me 78 works fine. And then the second layer, we're gonna create new effect layer after that and automatically duplicates the same layer, but we're gonna change it to torn edges. And here I will put different numbers. It's 25, 13 and 15. Image balance doesn't matter which number you will put. It won't change anything unless it's zero. So it's completely irrelevant. This happens when you apply tone edges straight after graphic pen. After that, we're gonna apply the next effect layer, which is going to be stamp. For me, the best numbers that work is three and eight. Uh, that way I can reach that really large grain effect. Uh, as for smoothness parameter, uh, the higher the number, the bigger the size of the grain is. You can see, but at some point it starts losing its grainy texture when it smooths too much. And you can see that's definitely not the effect we're going for. So I guess eight would be eight or 10 maybe is the biggest that I would go for. And yeah, this is pretty much the result I wanted to achieve, but you can play around with it. You can duplicate the same effect layer just by clicking plus and you can see it applies again. Maybe that will work for you better, but for me, these three layers are just fine. So this is pretty much the result I was aiming for, but I'm gonna give you a bonus tip. If this grain is not large enough, if you want it, do it even larger. The one thing that you can do is just to reduce the uh, the size of the image. So you can just duplicate the image. You can turn off all the effects we applied to it. Don't forget to rasterize it. Reduce the size of it. Like that. And then we're gonna apply the exact same effects. just compare these two. This is our first result but if you need even larger grain this is what you can do and it looks a lot larger. We don't need to worry about the quality of the image because we kind of ruined it anyway. It's photocopy effect. It's not supposed to be high quality, high resolution so we can then increase it and it looks just as fine. So yeah, that's pretty much what I wanted to show you today. Thank you guys for watching and see you next time.